And NBC 5's Ken Drake here with us now to give you those full highlights. Ken, that was a really exciting game today. Yeah, the America East Championship game back in Burlington for the second year in a row against the same team, UMBC. Of course, Vermont hoping for a different result than we saw last year. They would be playing for this very piece of hardware right here. And the fans were making a statement when it came to their guys who were trying to get revenge for last year's title loss. Scoring opens up with Conference Player of the Year, Anthony Lamb, gets the feed, deposits the ball. It's 2-0. Same score, Steph Smith. Drives the lane, has to get off the nice flick of the wrist. It works, and they're out to a 4-0 lead to start the game. The Cats were not perfect. The ball mishandled. UMBC takes advantage, dunks on the other end, and they're back within three now. But when Vermont was missing shots, they still did the right thing. Off Lambs miss, the offensive rebound. Sammy Dingba goes back up, gets the two. Go to the second half. Vermont was up by eight. Here comes Lamb. He hits the three. Next time down, go, let me go ahead and repeat. He hits the three, almost the exact same spot. Those are two different baskets, though. Benny Shungu getting in on the fun. The Rice alum helps them go on an 11-0 run early in the second half. The double-digit lead would only continue to grow. Ernie Duncan, still with no points in this game, but gets the helper to Steph, who had 17 points. I mentioned Ernie had no points, but that would change. He hits five of the team's next seven points. The three-pointer right there, the first of the game for him, but the most points would come from Mr. Lamb, the great feed and finish. He scores a game-high 28 points, and Vermont can celebrate with the rest of Catamount Country. They are your America East champions. Just uh, an incredible feeling um, uh, to be up here as, as conference champions and knowing that we're going to the NCAA tournament. It was, it was pretty bad after the uh, championship last year. You could say people were pretty sad, but uh, it's a new group of guys that came in uh, with new determination. Bittersweet. Um, just knowing that it's, this was my last game here at Patrick, and um, I'm just really thankful, you know, to be to be where I'm at. The Catamounts will now wait and see who they will play in the national tournaments.